Most local area networks or LANs today use UTP cables or abusively called Ethernet cable. That's how I'm gonna call it in this video, by the way. And they are known for carrying data. Coarsal cables are mostly known for TV signals. And I'm pretty sure in your house or your apartment, if you're watching this video, you might have coarsal cables wired out for your TV. In the 80s, coarsal cables were very popular in local area networks, but today they're mostly known just for TV. But they are still used by some ISPs to provide internet using DOCSIS. A lot of people like to use UTP because they're usually very flexible compared to the quashal that are very stiff to use. When my house was being built, I made sure that every room has an ethernet cable and a quashal cable for TV. And of course, I use the UTP cables for data and I've never used the quashal cables. All my quashal cables are still there, available and unused. And now I have a project where I need two cables in the same room. I already used the ethernet cable, of course, and I had to find a way to use the quashal cable. That's when I went on Amazon and and found this little device here. This one will help me adapt the ethernet or the UTP signal to the quashal signal. So what you get is one pair of devices. So you're going to plug in the UTP cable on this side and the quashal cable on the other side of the box. And you do the same on the other end of your cable and you'll be able to transform your ethernet into quashal back to ethernet again. So here I have my MacBook Pro connected to my home network. As you can see, we have 635 meg download, 835 upload. I'm going to use this. This is the only test that I'm going to do. I just wanna get at least one gigabit per second with this cable here. If I have that, that's good for me. So I'm going to use both cables in that room for this project that I'm going to share with you, by the way. So if you like it, stick around, like the video and subscribe so you won't miss that. So beside these devices in the box, you also get two ethernet cables and two power adapters for your boxes. So what I'm going to do now is unplug the ethernet cable from my MacBook, connect it to one of these, go through the quasher cable, come to the other end and connect my MacBook. We're just going to test the speed to see if we get the same speed after using the quasher cable. Next, I'm going to power on these devices by using the power adapters. All right, so from the document that came with the devices, I don't have much to do here. We can see this one is blinking here. Let's see if there's anything that's coming out of it. Now I can see that both ethernet light are blinking on these two boxes. Let's go on the device and see if we are connected and how much speed we're getting. As you can see, the speed is good. We have 660 download and 696 upload. This is fine for me. So I'm going to use these two devices in my home network to use one of my quasher cables to carry data in my LAN. That's it for today, guys. And if you like it, don't forget to like the video. And if you are trying to get into networking, I have a course on kbtrainings.com that goes from zero to engineer. It will teach you all you have to know to be able to start or boost your career in the tech industry. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Take care and bye.